A couple more things from the book that I'd love to have you sort of riff on uh, that I was attracted to. Some of the techniques for personal encounters and dealing with adversity for musicians. Yeah, boy, this, the, the, there's a the section of the book where I talk about, there's three sections of the book. The first section, I kind of intro the concepts of it. The second section, I discuss the the building of, of the actual cycle. And the third area are, are you know, just techniques and concepts for applying this. Yep. And the choice of being positive, you know, adversity. We're going to have people that are going to disagree with us. We're going to always have people that are going to be negative around us. So when someone negative comes up to me and is looking for an argument, I allow that person to entertain myself. <laughs> I, I don't let them suck me into the argument. Mm. They could be telling me, Dom, you're, you're ugly, you're stupid. And, and, I, and I'll just keep on smiling and say, you know, you're probably right. I'm not as good looking as a lot of people. I'm not as smart as a lot of people. So I think I qualify for ugly and stupid. That's a good observation. Thank you so much. I said, thank you so much. You know, and, and, and I'll go with them. So I deflect their, 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 you know, their desire to want to get me angry. I'm not giving them that satisfaction. Right. Yeah. So dealing with adversity is that when, when someone comes up, you know, the other day there was a, a I was parking my car and I go to pull into a space and, uh, and a guy pulls in real fast in front of me, mm. you know, and uh, he gets out of the car and starts yelling at me. You know, I had my directional on. I was, was waiting. The guy also came out and, and I, and I, I just kind of went into a different space. There were plenty of other spaces there. And, uh, and when I got out, the guy came over to me and says, you know, that was my space. And I said, you know, I, I'm so glad you got your space. <laughs> I am so happy. I said that I almost got your space. Oh my gosh. The space I'm in now, that's my space. And I made a mistake. So I thank you so much for informing. I'm going to always know that this is your space. And I kept on talking to the guy so he couldn't walk away. And I said, you know, I do this many times. I sometimes I take people's spaces. I once was in church and took an old lady's seat and it was her space. My gosh, I may end up going to hell because I sat in her seat. So thank you so much for me taking your space. And I kept on going on for like 20 minutes. (laughs) And the guy just stood there. He couldn't get away. Right. So I just kept on bringing this guy to a point of like, finally, he goes, listen, he goes, oh, next time, take my space. Right. Yeah. I said, have a great day. And I left. <laughs> so to me, I'm able to tell that story now with humor yeah. and jest, as opposed to be saying, this SOB took right. the spot. Like I had my direction on this freaking guy. I'll take him. Yeah, I'll take right. him out in the back. Right. You want, you want to fight? You want to, why even go there? Right. Right. So I go to a different area. In life, so therefore, every negative story that would normally be negative, I end up having a funny story out of it. Yeah, right. and that's just a technique in the desire to not be sucked into the moment right. of negativity. There's right. never a win. Right. There's never a win out of that. Right, and I think that's great. I uh, one of the things I think about when when I hear stories like that, or I try to practice, I don't always get it, but uh, it's sort of like the emotional tai chi, right? You're just sort of letting that roll, the opponent roll off of you, and not getting into that power struggle. And obviously, depending where our energy is, how tired we are, cranky, whatever, sometimes we got it, sometimes it's got us. But the more you practice, but, but just like music, the, exactly, the more you practice, the better you get at it. And I I never let myself get. I never let myself get cranky. Mm. Getting cranky is almost like a, like an excuse for, for, for like, you know, th- that, that doesn't show gratitude mm. and that doesn't show humility yeah. to get cranky. What's going to make me cranky mm. if I wake up and I'm tired? Well, I'm a little tired, so I'm mm. still going to have a great day. Yeah. What happens if this becomes my last day in life? Right. And if I'm cranky and it's my last day of life, I'm going to be pretty, pretty annoyed that my last right. day of my life, I ended up being, allowing myself to be cranky. Yeah. So I'm going to allow myself only to be happy and positive every day. And my wife does this so well. She's always that way. It's so great to see. And with that, listen, if it is my last day on this earth, I'm going to go out smiling and happy in a win-win scenario that even though, you know, I might not have been finished with my chores that I have on this earth, I gave it my best shot and I'm going out thumbs up. 